Hello everyone, welcome back to Express Video for All. Today, in this video, we are going to see program 6 of video 5th sem. You can find the notes of these videos in our Telegram channel, and all the codes will be uploaded there. So, please do subscribe and do join our channel. Link in, is in the description. So, program 6 is apply HTML, CSS, JavaScript to design a calculator. Basically, we have to perform some product difference, remainder, quotient, power, and square root and square these operations. So, you can once I will tell you how the things is working, you can create your own in the exam hall very easily. So, first of all, we need to create this skeleton where we are going to mention doc type HTML. This will tell the browser that it is a HTML file. Then using HTML tag, we are using the head where we are going to add this title. This title will come in the browser tab. You know, you guys very well know style tag. You guys know, and we are not going to touch it as this is for the exam. And you need to just know the logic. You can style it just by reading it once. So we are going for the body main body. So first of all, we are we are creating one div div means we are creating one box. In that box, we are going to add this input display. So we are giving input box ID as a display and we are disabling it so that you cannot type inside the input box if it is enabled. So you can type inside that box also. So that is a not not a good practice in calculator. You cannot type inside the input box directly. You need to press the keys. So be stick to that only div again. We are creating one more div and using these divs basically means a box and in in that box all the four buttons will come so on click function we are using on click function what what it will do whenever the button will be clicked then this append function will be triggered and it will pass one string and this one will be visible and this one is getting passed see the logic of this function very soon same thing we are going to do for all for one two three plus then again in another another div so it will come layer by layer and one two three and plus will be parallel to each other then next div will come below to it and same thing we are going to do four five six minus and seven eight nine multiply so these things so one two more functions are there in this program clear display for clearing all the outputs or internal data from the display and we are re representing it as a c we are not going to pass anything in this function and one is calculate for getting our query done and then again divide for the append. You can also add modulus here. It will be very simple. Here, yeah, you need to just add modulus there and you are good to go. You are good to go. It will work without any hassle. So, now we are going to see how these append clear display and calculate function is working. So we are coming to script. So this is a display. What we are doing, we are using get element by id. This is a DOM manipulation using DOM manipulation of document. We are fetching this id display and whatever data inside that we are entering into, into the display variable. Now this function, what this function is doing, append function, we are taking val as an input and we are display dot value in value of display, we are adding this value. So what, what will happen if four is there and you added type five. So what it will do, it will just concatenate. It will become 45 in JavaScript. If you are adding two strings, if it is like four, and plus and you are doing five then it is not equal to nine it is not equal to nine it is equal to 45 this is string concatenation so using this we are just entering our value and things will get concatenated now what we are going to do clear display so we are just doing empty the value of display things will be removed from the display as simple as it is. And now we are coming to calculate function. What will happen here? We are using this evaluate function. This takes a string and this string will be evaluated as a 
math it will be converted into integer or float whichever will be the feasible by the javascript and then it will be done automatically and that value will be stored in the dis into the display dot value and if this doesn't work we are using try catch and error will be displayed so this is the basic working of a calculator using javascript thank you for watching our video please do subscribe